education and training manager from Bowles Victoria. I'm on my own at the moment. Give you some information about these two teams. Wait for Mitch to put his bowl down. So we've got Chloe Collins. Co Chloe is from Tasmania. I've actually seen Chloe in some of the under-18 games. So she's played for the state team for Tassie and just recently won the under-18 singles. Close again, Damien. Oh. Not sure who's got shot there. Chloe's getting the measure out. It's going to struggle to fit in there. For new bowlers, they do have calipers at the bottom of the measures. You may have to go to the umpire. They've called it, umpire. So while the umpire is coming on and will sort out who's got shot, I'll run through the rest of that team. So it's Chloe Collins from Tassie is paired up with Mitch Keel. Mitch bowls for, for Berwick. Both of them are, can't tell us which one's got shot. I've actually uh, coached Mitch before in a school team. He's 18 at the moment, so he's just aged out of the under-18 program. Um, just absolutely loves bowls. And they're playing the brother and sister pair Eilish, Barnes and Damien Barnes. Eilish is only playing her fifth game of bowls ever. I know, hard to believe after her first end. And Damien... Terrelgan. We are having a few technical problems, so some people mentioning they can't see it on YouTube. We'll be doing our best. The internet isn't great inside the Terrelgan Bowls Club. So that was a one to the Barnes. Just a reminder, 15 ends. Three ball pairs. As I said before, I can't believe this is only Eilish's fifth game. Just a little bit through from Chloe there.
Bowie trying to drop that metre or so and has dropped short, which often happens. Bear with the stream. We were having a few little problems that we're Bradley's trying to madly fix. What's Eilish done then with this one? She's put another one in. Wish I was bowling this well <laughs> going into my fifth game. Chloe just slips through. The barn's holding two. Far away there from Damien. Probably a mat. Big Kevy just joining us. Not the same without you, mate. Let's see if Damien can add that mat. Started the game really well. Oh, another great ball. Mitch needs to cut this down. Doesn't like it, he's turned his back. Good ball here from Mitch. Oh, he's going to take shot. See what Damien can do here. To get that jack or just under his own bowl. Oh, it's another good effort. Oh, he's got shot. Mitch do. He's looking to oh, just under. It's another one to the Barnes. It's three ends in a row they've won.
get out to a small lead for zero. About to play our fourth end of 15. Everyone trying to win their section today. Sections of four. Three matches. T to T here, which would find most new bowlers out, but Eilish has done well. And I'm joined now by our marketing and communications manager, Mel Allen. How you go, Mel? Good, Matty. That's good. Sorry about the few little internet issues that we're having here. Hopefully we'll get them resolved over the coming hours. I know Brad's madly way. working there to get things fixed. Did you know that Eilish is playing her fifth game ever of lawn bowls? I heard that earlier. <laughs> she was a little bit nervous about being on the live stream. You wouldn't know, would you? No. The great thing about the Vic Open, it's open to everyone. Hopefully she's got some friends and family watching from home. That's in front. I bet that much. Knowing this sport, I reckon this will just be the start for Eilish and we'll <laughs> see her back next. Actually, I've got them in my section. So you're right. We've, we've been together at a couple of those under-18 state tours. And Chloe, yes, stands out from Tassie. And Cody Marshall is also over from Tassie. Great to see the uh, under-18s mixing. I know our, our Vic side got along really well with the Tassie side. Don't imagine they'd have anything quite this uh, big in Tassie. Yeah, I don't know about the uh, the TO, the Tassie Open. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's... It draws quite a lot, this rink, Mel, if you don't get the line right. Do you think... Do you know? Do you think Eilish knows how to measure? <laughs> She's letting Chloe do all the work. Might be a few firsts for her during this game. Good way to learn. It's one out. Actually, that's a good lesson there for new bowlers. If if you're not sure, just go to the other one and you can rule them all out. So it's one to Chloe and Mitch. Gets them on the board. Breaks the uh, string of three ends in a row. So tell us about your role, Mel, at the Vic Open. Communications and marketing. Yeah, a big part of that is this live streaming. So we, um, we certainly want to make sure that we get that right. We've got our partners here. We've got a trade show area. We've got a couple of shops going here at Trelgan and over at Morwell. Heaps of merch available, hence the light and AM sportswear. A few little BV things thrown in there too. Yeah, I can still see the Pancare tops from the last Vic Open. Yeah, they were, a, they were a hit. We've got a few left from last year. We've got some more stock coming in the coming days. That's better from Chloe. She's oh, that felt like she missed the first couple ends. The 
one, right? So you're in charge of all the socials. I saw a good post this morning about the uh, matches for the day. Yeah, so each morning when we've got the first day of sectional play, we'll release all three games, the lineup and the live stream. And then as we get into the knockouts, we'll work through those the evening before and, and a little bit play by ear and see who's going to be where and who we think might be great on the live stream. Yep. Well, talking about great, this is a great bowl from Eilish. Good leaning. So VO23 is a little bit different to 22. Day one is uh, sectional, and then we do a um, random draw for knockout. Yep, straight into knockouts. Blocks of two days, so you can come and play in one complete event for those that work and might find it hard. Uh, so a bit of a different format this year. And then obviously everyone's trying to make finals weekend. Mm -hmm. New under 18's event too. Yep, which is a great initiative. Do you reckon you were doing that in your fifth game? <laughs> I don't know highly, I wasn't. Highly unlikely. <laughs> local radio stations here at the moment doing some interviews and later in the week they're going to be set up here and broadcasting live oh, for the Bowling Club for a couple of days. Good bowl from Mitch. If he's going to get down from there, Mel. So Damien's holding with Eilish's third ball, I think it was, or maybe second. What would you be doing, Mel? I'm still trying to work out who's who. <laughs> <laughs> I might have the headset on, but I'm doing about three things yeah, at once yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Look, he's, he doesn't want to disturb it too much. Really, it's on draw. Or try and sit the other bowl out, which he's close to. Close. Oh, he's done it. That's what you would have done. Absolutely. Yeah. One. Oh, close to a two there. Start paying attention now to whose bowls are whose. <laughs> We're a third of the way through now, going into N6 of 15. And it's the Barnes lead, 5 1. Got some scores from uh, round one. See, Gussie got up in a good one, 19-9. Yeah, that is a good result. We've got our pair who are playing in our third game, which is Live Street, and Olivia and Cam.
ad there from our sponsor, Pencilart. Got a great display of bowls set up here at Terrellgan and over at Morwell. Not quite. No, I think they're still holding two, Mel. Let's see where that one finished on the live stream, but he threw it out a bit wider, but it uh, was a bit too wide. Well, we're going to have a look here. Yeah, it's a two. Another two. Seven one. So what are you playing at the Vic Open, Mel? I know you played a few games last year. Yeah, same again as last year. I'm doing the ladies' pairs and triples. Lucky enough to land to Rogan and Morwell. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Who are you playing the pairs with? Playing with Claire Smith from Hampton. Yep, she had a good win in her first game. But she carried uh, Neville. You think so? That's what she told me. <laughs> <laughs> and Neville didn't uh, disagree with it. Oh, it's good leading, isn't yeah, it, Mel? Another great start. Oh. The new bowlers, that's exactly where you want to finish with your first bowl. Yeah. People commenting about the, the live stream technical problems. There were no problems this morning. We've just got a few issues at the moment. We're working our way through it. I'll tell you who doesn't have an issue at all. It's Eilish. Yeah. One on, one behind. Two hands <laughs> up from Damien. <laughs> People have just joined. Damien is playing with his sister, Eilish. And it's her fifth game ever, and Damien's been bowling for 16 years. Not happy with that one, I don't think she was. We'll see. Well, I'll tell you what. Still only, what, just over a metre? Still handy. <laughs> All smiles from the barns.
Great setup here. Holding four. Just looking for a draw. I think he's a little bit under Mel. Still four. Are you playing triples as well, Matt? No, I'd like to be. Just so, the pairs. Yeah, just the pairs. You know Jimmy's got a weight list going. Has he? I might have a chat to him. Well, Damien would love something in the cannon in front here to stop Mitch. I don't think he's going to get it with that pace. Nope. <laughs> Damien just walked past and said, I'm getting carried by a fifth gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be complaining. Nope. All right, Mal, what are you doing here to stop this four? Is he going to go with weight? I don't think he can, really. Are you looking to just draw in second shot? Yeah, second's a challenge too. Oh, there, there's a path in. He might be far away. Weight is pretty good. Yeah, he's cut the back one out, but not the other two. Again. Well, it might only be two, so Mitch might have. Might have cut two out? No, three. 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 All started from Eilish's bowls. Good pressure bowls. Yep. Bowls in the head early. We're having this debate early, uh, before with Jimmy. Is it a Leeds game or a, or a Skips game? And when you Leeds doing what Eilish is doing, <laughs> Damien just had to add. Well, that seems to be what's happening with the scoreline, isn't it? Eilish is getting bowls in and he's adding another one or two each end. Agree with you, Casper John. I think Mitch is isn't really missing that draw line. Line so important. Chloe's added that nicely. <laughs> Big smile from Damien. <laughs> Hard to tell from this angle whether she's trailed it back far enough to add another. 
Uh, I think Probably it's one. Not with that one now. Yeah. Hello there from Josh Sanders. Hi, Josh. Congratulations on your win the other day. What champion was that? And champion singles. Oh, I think, fantastic! For the I heard that uh, Olivia Slade won the Eastern Rangers sing, uh, women's champ champs. We're talking about Nathan Mills winning Yarra's one. Yeah. Uh, and Alison Hall. Josh has Eastern Rangers, isn't he? Yeah. Champion champs. Well, Mitch has just drawn a. Really nice shot there. Tell you what. Pretty good reply oh. here. <laughs> He's done it to him again. Great ball. Mitch did that earlier and put a really good one in and Damien just drew it off. Don't do that in your fifth game, Mel, do you? A bit of discussion going on here about what shot he's going to play. He's a little bit frustrated. <laughs> Put a really good draw ball in and Damien just drew it off. He doesn't have a lot of options. Especially with that last ball from Damien too. May have to just promote his own. He's going for a run. Oh, oh he's hit it. Why is the kitty gone? Could have gone out, Mel, which means it's re spotted on the tee. But I don't think so. We may need an umpire on this. There. Looking at the peg. Very cool. One to Mitch and Chloe. Damien just saying, even if it is out, it's going back to the tee. They've only got one. Yeah. It's a fair call. Yep. Good bowl from Mitch. A very good bowl. It, it had a few little bounces, but it held its line. Well, there wasn't much of a gap there. Stops another run of three ends in a row. Just need to put some ends together here, Mel. Get back in it. 
Yeah, pick up a couple of multiples and they'll be back in it. Plenty of time left. Plenty of ends. Yeah. Sorry, so this is N9 that we're starting. Damien signaling it's a little bit heavy. Better start here from Chloe. Tyler's done with this last bowl. Oh, she's drawn yep, shot, she's Mal. It. Pulled up just short. It's what you want to do as a bowler, correct? And she put her first two over a mat, over a metre through and took the weight off perfectly on her last. Yep. Ruined all that good work Chloe was doing. See if Mitch can get on the draw like last end. He is close. Very close here. Oh, not enough. Yeah, he might have just had enough on it to get shot. Chloe thinks it's shot. Tristy Mitch is, uh, doesn't have much of a backswing, does he, Mel? He doesn't. It's really no. a push. And he's drawn another. That's definitely in. Yeah, that'll be two. from Mitch here. I think he's looking to protect. Just looking to draw, do it on draw here from Damien. Better 
area than his last. Not quite. No. Great to hear the live stream's back up and going, Mel. All fixed. Even Brian Sheen's joined us for the live stream. Has he now? Oh, Brian. Brian. <laughs> Still remember those early days at City Memorial. I think that was both our first event, wasn't it, Mel? It was. It was. We didn't know what we were in no. for. <laughs> <laughs> I remember driving down thinking... I've heard commentary. Oh, I don't know how that will go. That was the first state champs after a bit of a break from COVID. and We, we both started the same time in July. Yeah, we had a jam-packed schedule. We had additional events on. Oh, it was nuts, wasn't it? We had players bowling until close to midnight some nights to get through all the games. Yeah. Everyone went with it, though. I think everyone was just so wrapped to be back bowling after COVID. Yeah, I do remember driving down going, <laughs> I've come from teaching, I've got no idea what's going to happen here. <laughs> Brian did an amazing job at the city. He did. Back then, we were running with uh, oh, we were running iPhones. with the BA yeah. iPhones too. We, we didn't have iPhone. Brad, our cameraman. Very simple setup it was back then. That's right. Come a long way since then. Well, that two brings them back into it, Mel. It's only six the difference now. Yep, that's right. And they've put two ends together, which they haven't done yet. Bowl there from Eilish. Look across the green, Matt, and there's players from all over Victoria. A few from my Sandbelt region. I can see Moorabbin, Dandenong Club. Yeah, it's all, all four greens being used today. It's amazing. Why do you think mixed pairs is so popular? Really is, isn't it? Yeah, our entry numbers are, are great. Yeah, there well, there really does seem to be so many husband and wife couples and families that really love to bowl together. Did a couple with Laura that was uh, interesting. <laughs> that would be all Laura's bowling and I bowled <laughs> the next two days. Yes, on the other hand, there's also plenty of couples that just can't bowl together. <laughs> or shouldn't. No. Good bowl here. Yep. Mitch just needs to stay on this draw. He's starting to put more bowls in the head.
for our mixed pairs who aren't successful. Uh, we've got the supporter event for the first time this year. We've got mixed pairs and uh, open triples, but mixed pairs is over at Warrigal Bowling Club. Is that mixed pairs tomorrow? Yeah. It is. At Warrigal, yep. I think I'm out there getting it all started. Is Mitch looking? Has he got the gap? No. Another one, three in a row now, and the gap is five. It's five ends to go, Mel. Up to you. Well, as we saw in the uh, final end of the last live mm. stream match, I mean, picked level, picked, that. picked up a four on the last end. Yeah, it was uh, level going into that last end. And I said to Jimmy, I reckon Wayne's going to win this with his last bowl. You wouldn't have been expecting a four, though. No. <laughs> I don't think Wayne was either. <laughs> Question there from David. Are we going to stream from a few different venues? We're going to be streaming from Terrelgan and Morwell, our two hub club so we're going to do blocks of two days so we'll stay with a an event for its entirety so we'll be back here tomorrow at Terrelgan for the mixed pairs finals uh, then we'll move over to Morwell and start on the triples triples yep and then we go to pairs and singles Quite sure who's holding here. Yeah, I'd say maybe Chloe's back the bowl just behind the jack. Well, it's going to be this one. No? That's the one. got here. Close. Mm, yep. <laughs> Chloe just uh, signaling to Mitch. It's about time. What time is it now that I've actually <laughs> put a bowl in? You do go through that in, in games where you feel like nothing's going your way, you can't get in. Absolutely, yep. Mitchell have confidence from his last couple ends though. He wasn't far off with his weight on the first. 
Make that line correction. And he has. Needs to get down. Good second. Yeah, good effort. Ooh. Oh, it might actually have. It's funny the angle from where we're sitting. Yeah, Chloe generally knows the situation. She's saying it's one to them. Right. Forces Mitch on another hand. Damien will tell us. <laughs> He's been telling us all the time what the situation is. Thanks, Pidge, for the compliment. We are fully indoor here. We're not going to get wet. Oh, he's Does asking he? it to hold. Oh. oh, two good bowls. What's that there? Fourth end in a row? You're onto it, Mel. Four in a row. After they. Yeah. Bore the difference. With four to go. Well and surely back in it. Mitch and Chloe. So I'm pretty sure Damien and Alice lost their first one in the section. All right. Chloe and Mitch won their first one. Okay. So they'll be desperate to get this win. Yep. Keeps their chances alive of getting out of the section. Chloe really finding it now, Mel. Yeah, better bowl there, Chloe. She's stringing ends together. Doesn't have to look at her watch and ask what time is it. Super impressed with Eilish, though. Damien likes this one. Great adjustment of about two metres. Chloe not happy with that no. one. No. Oh, it's close again, Mel. Nailed it. Oh, great bowl. Thumbs up from her brother, yep. Damien. Really good from two metres through on her first and then nailed the weight on the next two. Yeah, absolutely. I 
Mitchell drivers. a little bit over. Oh. Ball from Damien. Looking to go a bit wider. This looks closer. Oh, <laughs> still, still under. Not quite. <laughs> yeah, very good ball. Mitch and Damien are both bowling with the same bowl, or make of bowl. Optimus, all right. Big bowl here. Yep. Oh, I only got rid of one. What he was hoping for there. Three but for the barns. That was N13, was it? That was N12, oh, we're going into 12. 13, we've got three to go. Kane Stewart obviously watching on his lunch break. Good on you, Kane. Interesting, Chloe prefers the shorter ends, I think, Mel. It's gone a bit longer now with Eilish having the mat. Front of the uh, Terrelgan Bowls Club sign. Yeah, 
that three really important in the uh, scheme of the game. that much harder to catch up, doesn't it, now? Three ends to play, still doable. from Mitch. Tracking well. Yep. Shot. Let's add another here. Doesn't mind it. Yeah, two good bowls from Mitch. <laughs> is it going to be in the count though? That I don't. That Eilish is saying no. They're having a discussion about getting that. That Eilish's bowl out of there, Mel. Make a number. Well, it'll bring, maybe bring in two more. Yeah. It's a risk, though, if it gets the... Doesn't mind it. He needs to hit the right side of it. Nah. Just the one. One. 7.13, up and back. Good question there from Charmaine. Is it a requirement to wear club colours in the Vic Open? No, it's not. Um, bowls attire, obviously, is a requirement. Needs to have the official BA, National Merchandising Program, logo but you can wear any shirt that you like. A lot of the clubs will wear their club gear though. Yeah, for the most part, that's what I'm seeing here today. Yeah. Start from Chloe. For those who joined us partway through the stream, we will be streaming from Tarelgan and Morwell Bowling Club in two-day blocks. Tarelgan today and tomorrow for the mixed pairs and then we'll move over to Morwell for the triples. Do two days there and then come back to Tarelgan.
Chloe out a little bit there. Good line for it. Yeah, great ball yeah, from Chloe. That's a shot. What do you think? Is it just one map? Damien's having a look. I think it's only one. Once we get to finals weekend, we will be doing a day at each venue. So we'll be streaming from Trelwyn on a Saturday and Morwell singles on Sunday. straightened up there at the end then, that one. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Let's see if Damien can add this metre. He wanted from the first. Same as his last. in. Mm. Be two or three. Mm, that might be handy. Might I just cut one out? Two. Two. Does that make it nine thirteen? Possible. Four down. Going into the last end here. Can they do it, Mel? Can they get a four? Four will be the tie, which is obviously better than a, a lost in sectional play. Even going down by a shot can still get you through your section. Question from David, are you both going to be at the state pennant championship? Not sure about that one, I have to speak to Jimmy. I think I will be. Eilish going to finish her sixth game of bowls. She's bowled very well. <laughs> Girls won't be happy with those short bowls. Eilish has corrected quite well, so yeah, I can already see this is a lot better than the first one. It is. Not quite.
It's nice having a third bowl, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is draw weight. Yeah, good bowl. Finish here for Eilish. Yeah, yeah she's corrected it really well. And get shot. Great last ball. That's what can't ask more from a new bowler yep. than correcting on each ball. She's done that. Brothers happy really with well. that one. Yep. So we've got, is it Cam Keenan and Olivia Slade up next? Yes. Should be a good game. going to pick up a four here, Matt. Well. Kitty! He's asking for Kitty. That makes it hard now. Yeah, that's <laughs> a lot harder now. It's easier to get it's one ball out than it is head. to get two. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some pretty good banter between those two, Mitch and uh, Damien. Yeah, they look Played like they've it been exactly the right way. Like he's stealing himself for a drive, doesn't he? He's like, I really can't do much here. I don't know how I'm going to get my four. Yep. There he goes, the drive. Bad luck. Now the question, that was interesting, the question for Mitch, is he going to play it? It is sectional play, so shots up. Yeah. Yep. So I would be playing it. Try and get another one in there. Mm. He's not really watching it. It might even sit Chloe's bowl. Oh. Great game. Yeah. By the locals. Eilish Barnes and Damien Barnes. Got over the top of Chloe Collins and Mitch Keel. I've done very well. Yeah, it was those two period, those two, two lots of three ends then in a row. And then Chloe and uh, Mitch got on a run and it was stopped by that three. Yeah, the difference is that Chloe and Mitch were picking up ones mostly. So that's game two. End of game two, Mel. The big open. We will be back at three o'clock. About an hour's time. For the last of the sectional and the mixed pairs. Yep. And then we'll be madly putting that draw again, draw together for the knockout. So that'll go out later this afternoon. Yep. So everyone will know where they're playing tomorrow. And then the finals tomorrow 
are only at Morwell Terralgan, is that right? We're back here tomorrow. Yep. Yep. For the other sections, you mean? Yeah, at Morwell and Terralgan. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, that's game two. I think Jimmy did the maths before, or 36. That was live streaming. Yeah. I don't know how he put all that math together for Jimmy. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back at 3 p.m. See you See then. See ya. Pack the car for Gippsland, a place of all kinds of wonder. Weave through postcard-worthy rainforests, lush hills, jaw-dropping coastline, and shimmering lakes. Plan a road trip for your star-studded journey today at visitgippsland.com.au. The Get Active Victoria app is an easy way to step into everyday activity with videos on yoga, dance, low impact, and more. Set your own goals and track your progress. Download the free Get Active Victoria app today.